is what some of the surrounding area looks like. This is the Stone Mountain Village. Just in case you were curious. And they do have like this virtual office space for those who are working from home and you want a virtual office that's available. Hey, I'm looking out for the police because the sis out here hands on. But yeah, so this is what the area looked like. Again, this is Stone Mountain Village. It's Pride Month. They out here. Go ahead, homeboy. Give your best life. So the library, so places to hang out. So here is the main entrance. So I'm going in here and I'm gonna go over with the um the um golf course side because that's really my favorite part part of the park if we're being honest. So I'm gonna head in and then head over that side and I'ma show y'all the beauty. And we get this one over exercise in oh by the way so this decal right here it costs forty dollars but guys look at the price just to get in for one day is twenty dollars or you could buy an annual pass for forty dollars now if you're visiting from out of town i get that you buy twenty dollars but if you're in the area and you're gonna come to this part more than twice get you that forty dollar sticker and stop playing okay stop playing definitely worth it in my opinion so yeah now we're inside of the park and yesterday we technically i went to the right walking through that free entrance but today i'm gonna go to the left and go around um i'm not gonna drive with this phone in my hand sorry i've done enough for the content so i'll see you once we start walking all right we're doing another park Oh, I'm gonna keep on the forget about the Americans. <laughs> All right, we are here in the park, standard English. And today I parked at the Gulf Overflow lot. Um, this is the left turn if you should take the other entrance. So I came through the entrance off of Robert E. Lee Boulevard, but if you were supposed to come from like West Park Place, you take your first lift. And again, Stomington Park is huge, y'all. So I'm gonna walk by the golf course today. And we're about for upper fence. You see me? Real Jamaican style. Boom the fence here. And then we're gonna go over um Oi. Why does something want to go up by crutches? And it's not my man. I second like hear the gentlemen and women playing golf. Actually, I want to play golf one day. Who is down to come with me? Um, Stomason does have a big course. There's also a course on the other side of the road. When I tell you this park is huge, y'all, I am not lying. What I really like about over here is that it gives you variety and option because uh, cobweb yeah it does give you variety and option i'm a person who likes that so you can literally be on a different side of the park daily and not get bored that is why if you're gonna come over here for more than three times just get the yearly pass like you will not regret it it is so beautiful over here and plenty to do whether you're paying for it or it's free you could definitely entertain yourself and here is the stone mountain mountain <laughs> so the ladies playing golf so who's down to go golfing with me i want to do it um I feel like it's gonna be too boring by myself. I don't mind doing it by myself, but I think it's gonna be a little bit um, uneventful. So who's down? Oh, I need to start my timer. I'm like here giving myself extra minutes to walk. Let me start my timer. Okay, walking is not really permitted on this golf cart track. But you're still true, man, rebel. 
because my honorable but don't follow me still and if you're gonna follow me just be safe and be smart and polite <laughs> all right just get out of the way hello <laughs> thank you <laughs> see y'all just be smart and polite <laughs> But yeah, only people get a glimpse of the good girl, buddy. <laughs> so now we're heading to the golf club, which is a really nice chill spot. This is one of my favorite spots in the whole park. Um, there's also a restaurant in there which serves really good food and it has a really good view that you're about to see right now. Okay, I'm officially a manifester, so literally I was just saying who want to go golfing with me. I saw this man heading out. I was like, hey, can I come golf with you? <laughs> and he was like, yeah. I was like, what about tomorrow? He's like, it's going to rain, so I might be golfing on Thursday. Look, you got to open your mouth. Back to the views, guys. Like, are you seeing why I love this park? Are you getting it yet? So, I also, um, so much I have fireworks by the, um, carbon on the mountain, but sometimes you can actually stand over here and see those fireworks. So if you're not really a crowd person, like they say you're introverted, you could come to this side of the park. It's usually way less people over here. Um, because one people think you can't come down here. I usually think I can't I just ended up down here one day and It's lit y'all So the diners are up there And again, this is the the um the golf club And this is the view we're downstairs, but This is the view That's upstairs Again, if you come out here and eat, you could choose to dine outside. And this is your view, guys. It's a really good experience. Um, just hanging out out here or coming to dine. Um, I always enjoy it. And I actually usually come over here to study, which I'm going to do one day. Um, I'm going to skip a li the library and study outdoor one day. So yeah, usually you will enter from driving in up there and you come down and this is the golf club entrance. Um, the restaurant is right in here and again they have the um, outdoor dining as you can see those folks are dining. This is the view. All right, another gem is you could come down here like right at the, let me just walk over there, but I usually come over here to hang out. Um, I've done like picnic with a friend. I've come out here to read, study. I have painted. I actually have a landscape painting off this scene. So it just gives a lot. It just gives a lot. You gotta open your eyes to see what it's giving. But once you do, it's lit. Again, just check this view out. Like, especially in the morning to just come out for a stretch. Okay, give us a scene, bird. Go ahead. Fly away. Go ahead, spread them wings. That listens to everything in life and just things to see things to feel, things to experience, and this is just in my backyard and Stone Mountain Park offers this. Also, if you're an amateur golfer, they do have this right here for free. You do not have to pay. Just bring your clubs out and you can practice and they have the holes. Hello. They have the, um, the puts or the holes. I don't even know the terms. I need to go study some for Thursday. But yeah, it's all free. Well, technically, not because you have to pay to come in the park. Um, 
but once you're in the park it's not an additional cost and um if you're walking through the free entrance good luck because to get all the way over this side of the park i'm assuming that's like a good six mile walk seven mile walk probably more um another amenity that is over here at this point i feel like so much i need to be paying me okay but another amenity is this lakeside beach pavilion um which you could rent and i was looking it up um at one point the downside is that you have a limit on the number of persons who can be over here you can't have alcoholic beverages um i don't remember if they had a limit on glass but if you go to this information right here you can check it out but it's open to be reserved so if you're trying to throw a party or a get together or just a fun day they have a volleyball net benches the pavilion and hella views for hella pics all right so that's it for down here i'm going to continue my walk and i should walk by the campground which i actually used to work at life is so funny just some more views for you this is the other side of the golf course i was telling you about and then we got the campground over here it actually started way back down there again she's huge over here um but over here are the rvs and um on the other in the middle you have like the rentals the yurts the safari tents and also an area where you could pitch your own tent and then on the far left you have the area where you could put up your own tents um and they provide water and electricity for you and um for those who are interested the sites for the rvs over here you get water electricity hookups um that's like the basic which is like the cheapest then after that you get water electricity sewer and um thin cable yeah it's been a while i worked over here i forgot that last part but the more you pay the more amenities you get and if you want like a lake front site it's like a ten dollar extra per night um but overall people love it over here like i would when i worked in reservation people booked daily like we rarely have a slow a really slow day um unless it's like hurricane season but besides that people be out here living their best life and it's not just um and that's it's not just white country folks like i've seen black people come camp over here um i've even seen jamaicans you know yeah they link up wagwan <laughs> so it, it your ethnicity or demographic doesn't matter it's really your interest if you're interested you're just interested and um this is one site that's available to that interest of camping okay so here we are at stone mountain um i used to work in that office over there doing reservations shout out to everybody who worked on the campground from 2017 to 2018 i wasn't as open to life back then but y'all did make my experiences better um over here all right so registered guests only I'm gonna use, I used to work over here privileges and my polite privileges. Like these right here are premium sites um, in the front. And also because they're closest to the amenities, there's a pavilion over there and there's a pool in the middle, also a playground. So these sites are more expensive. And when you get further down in the back, that going like down ten dollars a piece less um unless you're like on the waterfront then that's different so site 175 when i was working 
was the one of the most coveted site, if that's the word. Everybody wanted it because one is to pull through so it makes your life easier. And then look at this view. Not to mention it has its own like little gazebo. But look at this view. Alright, there's an RV. Just share the view out, yo. And um the Marriott Hotel is right over there. They have a hotel in the park, the Marriott Evergreen, which is right over there. Then they have the yurts. Um which are like um I want to say mini cabins, but that's not really a good description. They're called uh, yurts. So in them, they have beds. They have everything except kitchen and a bathroom. So that part I don't really like. But then the rental trailers, which are back here, they have like six of them. So that's one, two. Those have everything. Kitchen, bathroom, everything. And true story, I actually stayed in one for free for two nights um just by reaching out to my old manager and my old supervisor big up Bin um binky so yeah i reached out to them you know i was like hey i'm a hard worker i made so and so sales da -da 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 -da. trying to experience it and i had a, a gift voucher that had expired like two years but the manager was so um it was so kind that she allowed me to stay using that expired voucher so i did stay for free and the experience is overall good um as you can see the views i'm a nature person this bench that i'm sitting on right now i actually came out here and painted so it was just really lovely i went for my morning walk um my friends came over it was a really good experience um minus the bed i'm not even gonna lie on that one the beds were hard as fuck <laughs> but besides that it was really good and you have to bring your own stuff that like, you don't get no sheets none of that you have to bring your own stuff um but that's even better because sometimes when i go to hotels i still bring my own stuff uh just to make sure it's clean um so if you're traveling from afar hey bring bring an extra sponge or a mattress or something to throw on that bed and that would definitely elevate your experience but overall again the campground is so beautiful and it was relaxing peaceful just what i needed at that time in my life so again shout out to stomach of our campground i used to work here and it's absolutely amazing a little bit more up close these are what the yurts look like and you do get a fire um pit All right, they have a dome on the top so you can see the night skies which is pretty dope and again yeah all the views here's a rental trailer um a little more close up i think yeah i think that's the one i was staying in uh-huh it looks small on the outside but it fits it really does fit on the inside again it has everything you just have to bring your own stuff pots pans sheets all of that and then here's a really good view of the mountain so it's just breathtaking out here and um it allows you to connect with nature and just recharge reset breathe breathe because life is y'all know how life be so y'all get a picnic table and these things right here for those who are curious um, about the yurts not having bathrooms, what do you do? So they have what's called comfort stations, um, which is just a... <laughs> Let me back up real quick. <laughs> All right, so it's just a bathroom, restroom. Oh, they added pans, that's cool. With um, showers. Okay, shower shower so for the units that don't have a restroom or if you're out and you don't have a restroom you come to the comfort station to use the restrooms and shower and be like hey, 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 hey. <laughs> head back out 
and guys to be honest like if i'm ever in like a dire situation like homelessness or i shit my pants while i'm at the park or anything honestly i would make my way over here and take me a shower and i'm not soliciting loiterers and idlers to this park because that's not what it's about over here and wherever you go to, wherever you go just keep the peace don't keep up no fuckery but yeah personally if i'm ever in a dire situation i'm gonna find my way over here get me a shower they also have um washing machines and dryers over here but you have to pay by coin to use those dollars bambi what's up my g he looking at me like you want to jump over here. I'm gonna I'm leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. You do you. I'm gonna do me. Here comes the next set of interests. So, you cyclists, y'all be loving that Stone Mountain Park. Here go three of y'all. Y'all could join the group. And what's the Saturday when we're in Tonga? Those who are driving to get to the golf club, this is the entrance. All right, and it literally says the commons golf club and restaurant and down there is the view that i was showing y'all earlier this is how you enter and yes again once you're in the park this is the no additional cost and that mini golf course down there you could go go for free just bring your equipment or you can rent it from the um commons area all right y'all i'm finished with the exercise um, just like you said, I did more than an hour, so it just sh goes to show you that when you start, the possibilities are so great. You know, it feels hard to get up off that couch, out of that bed, out of the house, walk away from that argument. It feels hard, but once you start, you'll be like, okay, I could do this. And on a final note too, y'all, this is not new to me. I've been doing this um, since the pandemic and like a year before that too. So I'm used to this, so it's easy for me. Don't be too hard on yourself. If you can't do an hour, do five minutes. Like five minutes is better than zero minutes and work your way up, work your way up. If you can't study for two hours, start with five minutes. Start with two minutes. Start with a minute. Again, one minute is better than zero. So just start over time, your brain will adapt, your body will ad adapt, your habits will adapt, and before you know it, you're on a consistent road of self-development, self-improvement. So y'all take care. I'll see you tomorrow.